this video is going to show you how you can remove Cortana from Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you're watching this video as a short tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So what is Cortana? Well, Cortana is Microsoft's virtual assistant. It was first launched in 2014 and was originally available on Windows Phone 8.1 and other Windows devices and operating systems. Cortana could perform a variety of tasks, including setting reminders, answering questions, searching the user's PC and the web, and also it could open applications. Now, Microsoft have said that they are going to be discontinuing Cortana sometime this year in 2023, but so far they haven't removed it yet. It's going to be replaced by a thing called Windows Copilot, which is going to rely heavily on AI, artificial intelligence. So what if you've still got Cortana on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC and you just want to get rid of it, get shot of it? Well, this guide applies, like I say, to Windows 10 and Windows 11. So I'm going to show you on Windows 11 how to rid yourselves of it if it's still installed on there. So first of all, let's check to see if it is still installed. So click on the start button at the bottom of the screen and then just on your keyboard, just start to type Cortana. And as you're typing it, if it's still installed on there under best match, you should see Cortana app. So if you see that, move your mouse over it click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. And see if you've got uninstall that comes up in that list there. If you haven't, left click app settings, then you should get this screen or a similar screen appear. Scroll down and try and find uninstall. So as you can see here, I've got uninstall, but the uninstall button is greyed out. And when I click on it, it does absolutely nothing. So obviously, if yours isn't greyed out and you can click on it and uninstall it, then do this. But if like mine, you can't, let's go to the next option. So let's just close this down by clicking the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen, then click on the start button again so that we get the start menu up and type in there C for Charlie, M for mother, D for Delta. And then hopefully after a few seconds, under best match, command prompt app should appear. Move your mouse over it and once again, click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. You don't want to be clicking the left. And then you want to move your mouse over run as administrator. Now, this is very, very important because if you don't do this and you just left click on it, it ain't going to work. So move your mouse over run as administrator and with run of, as administrator highlighted, click the left mouse button, the button on the left hand side of the mouse. You will probably see this. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We'll make sure it says Windows command processor and make sure that the verified publisher says Microsoft Windows. If that all matches, move your mouse over. Yes. And left click once. Then you should see this screen appear, this black screen here with a prompt. So the next thing you want to do is you want to just type win get space uninstall space Cortana with a capital C. So C-O-R-T-A-N-A. -A. Okay, double check that, triple check that because you don't want to in uninstall the wrong app. So it should be win get all in lowercase space uninstall all in lowercase and another space and Cortana with a capital C. Once you've typed that, press enter or return on your keyboard. Now you might get a message up saying, do you accept win get? So just say yes to it. So there you go. Do you agree to all the source agreement terms? So let's just click, let's just type in Y and that's a capital Y and then press enter or return on your keyboard. So there we go. It says starting package uninstall and hopefully within a few seconds, you should see that blue bar like I've got there with 100% next to it and it should say successfully uninstalled. Once you've seen that, then click on the cross in the top right hand corner of that window, just up there. 
And then if we try and search for Cortana again, click on the start button. Let's just see. Nope, it's not found it. There you go. It's come up with an overview from Wikipedia, but it's not appeared on the best match panel. And we shouldn't be able to find it now in the start menu. So let's just click on that. Let's click on all apps and let's just go down to the C's. And there you go, Cortana isn't there. So there you go. I hope this video helped. And if it did, then please consider supporting this channel. Have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories or looking to subscribe to a VPN, please consider using the links down below. Using those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time into researching and making these videos for you. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, please stick around. I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.